The second part of a response to it is using our template. So we're going to go back here and we're gonna find our magnifying glass and then our book and our character qualities, our transition words and our lesson learned. So let's start with our magnifying glass. That's the lesson that George is learning. What is George learning? He's learning to be honest. And what is the title of our story? It's called Split Pea Soup. So we're going to write Split Pea Soup on the line right under the book. And then we're gonna do something unusual. We're gonna put commas in the air, they're called quotation marks, around the title of our book, just like that. Then we're going to make those two into a sentence and combine it with in the story. So we're going to write in the story We're going to write it as neatly as we can, and then we're going to write the name of our story, Split Pea Soup, and then we're going to put quotation marks and a comma. George, what did he do? He learned to be honest. Okay, and we're out of space right here, so we're going to go down to the bottom and write on the next line. And then we're going to read it over to make sure that it makes sense. In this story, Split Pea Soup, George learned to be honest. Okay, and then we're going to move down here, and we're going to first of all put our transition words. So we're going to write our transition words on our footprint. We have first and a comma, next and a comma, last and a comma. And then we're going to look at our gloves and we're going to remind ourselves that those are three things about George, three words about George during the story. At the beginning, George was friendly and kind. In the middle, George was a little bit scared. And in the end, he became honest. So let's put at the beginning that he was friendly. And we're going to write that on top of our glove. And in the middle, he was very scared, wasn't he? He was scared to tell Martha the truth. And at the end, George became honest. So we're going to write honest. Great. Now we're going to go back and we're going to write a sentence using first and friendly. So we're going to write first, George was friendly. What did he do all of the time in the story? Each day he came to visit Martha, didn't he? So I'm going to write first, George was friendly. He came to Martha's. And then I'm going to Martha's house. And then I'm going to put a period. And I'm going to read that again to make sure it makes sense. He came to Martha's house. Perfect. What happened in the middle of this story? Well, we know that Martha gave him an awful lot of soup. So he was a little bit scared to tell her, wasn't he? So we're going to write next, Martha fed George. What kind of soup? Great, split pea soup. And we need to write the senten a sentence using scared. And he didn't like it, did he? So we're going to write, he was scared to tell her he hated it. OK, and we're going to put a period. And then we're going to go to last, last and honest. Last. George told the truth. And then I'm going to write what Martha did after that. Martha gave him what? Right, cookies. Martha gave him cookies instead. George was a lot happier, wasn't he? Because he learned to tell the truth that he didn't like the, cook, the, the soup. Now we're going to go to the end. What is the lesson that George learned? George learned to always tell the truth. So we're going to write George 
learned to always tell the truth. And then we're going to check again for our period, our strong capital. We're going to read it one more time. George learned to always tell, oh, Miss A forgot her S, always tell the truth.